Masha's Tales. Tell me, my dear toy friends, how could you eat these sand pies? Do you even know who made them? No, you don't. So I'm going to tell you a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a girl, little Lena, who had a brother, little Ivan. Magic swan geese. Their parents went away to the market to buy some treats. The kids didn't listen to what their parents had told them. They went into the forest and got lost. The forest was dark and scary. And guess what they saw? A huge oven! It was full of pies. They kept falling out. Little Lena and little Ivan couldn't believe their eyes. And the oven told them oh so scarily. Come here, little children, and try my tasty pie. Little Ivan got so happy. But his sister, little Lena, whispered to him, Don't eat those pies. Who knows what she puts in them? Little Ivan didn't want to hear it. He ran over and ate all those pies. And then he started whining, Get some water, I'm thirsty. Little Lena said, I told you not to eat them, didn't I? And on top of that, her brother got the hiccups. Then boom, out of nowhere appeared a river made of milk with banks made of fudge. So little Lena told Ivan, okay, stop your whining. Be patient, I'll go get some milk with fudge in it. But little Ivan was not a well-behaved boy. He never listened to anyone. He started rolling on the ground and screaming, I don't want to be patient. I'm thirsty, I'm going to drink from this hoof print left by some goat. He was such a silly boy. You can't drink from dirty puddles. No way, they're full of dangerous germs. But he did it anyway. He got down on the ground with his tongue out, ready to drink from the hoof prints. And little Lena couldn't stop him because she got stuck in the fudge. So she shouted to him, don't drink from the hoof print, you'll turn into a goat. But again, her brother didn't listen and kept drinking from the hoof print. What kind of germs were swimming in the water? That I cannot tell you. But suddenly, little Ivan got all furry. Then the apple tree growing nearby told him oh so sweetly, Oh, little Ivan, would you like to try my golden apples? Little Ivan tried one. Then antlers grew on his head and little hooves on his hands and feet. And he turned into a goat, just like that. Right at that time, a flock of magic swan geese was flying over. They heard someone chewing very loudly under the apple tree. It was a little goat munching on apples. He ate them so neatly, nothing was left, not even cores. The magic swan geese were so surprised they decided to take little goat to the old witch. They flew down, grabbed him, and headed to the old witch's hut that stood on chicken legs. When the old witch laid eyes on him, she liked the little goat so much because he was so cute and so nice and oh so fat that the old witch decided to gobble little goat up. The old witch preheated her oven and started singing a little song. We had a fine little goat and a fire to eat little goat was her greatest desire. Frightened, little goat bleated so loudly they heard him all over the forest. The fire is burning high and hot. The water's boiling in the pot. Each knife has a sharp and shiny blade. Is no one coming to my aid? And he ran very fast to the place where he last saw his sister, trying to get out of the fudge. The old witch saw that little goat had run away and sent her magic swan geese after little goat to bring him back. Little Lena was just getting out of the fudge. She picked up her brother, but she didn't know where to hide. Feeling lost, she sat down on the ground and started crying. Then the oven turned red with shame of having fed Ivan all those pies. And he hit the poor kids inside of her. The magic swan geese flew over and didn't see them. For the longest time, little Lena couldn't find the way out of the forest. But luckily, goats have a great sense of smell and little goat Ivan smelled his way home. When they got home, their parents had already come back from the market. Then little Ivan was taken to all kinds of doctors and given all sorts of shots. Finally, he turned back to a human kid again. So remember, you'd better not eat any strange food in any strange places. And don't drink water unless it's boiled or bottled. You might 
accidentally turn into a goat, and the doctors will not help you. <laughs> 